is sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. The Brazilian Daniel Serapion, 33. The Nigerian Olawale Bamboche is 28. Bamboche, two inches taller than Serapion. He will enjoy a five-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A free trial fighter, only professional record. Five wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, by way of Lagos, Nigeria, Oluwali, the Holy War Angel, Bamboche! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holding professional record. Ten wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Daniel Serapia! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, James Chappell. Buffer really punched that bamboche. Huh? <laughs> And Bamboche almost knocked him over with his jump. Betting line has tightened up considerably. Bamboche at times this week as high as plus 180 in some spots. Slight underdog at close at plus 130. Bamboche is in the white trunks. He'll switch stances early and often. Daniel Serapion out of the orthodox stance. He is in the black. Bamboche told me this week there's no excuse for him not to utilize his reach advantage and fight long and patient. Doesn't want to get caught up brawling with Serafian. He's very good inside, has good powerful punches. And Boshe actually trains Wushu, which is a striking style we're seeing more and more in the octagon, mostly with all the Dagestani and Russian fighters coming over. And, and lots of footwork, a lot more of your traditional martial arts side kicks, spinning hook kicks. Excellent footwork in that art form. And we're seeing a lot more of that. Conor McGregor's and, and the new wave of athletes coming inside the UFC. Van Boshe initially started teaching himself. Oh! Van Boshe trying to pick it's it. It's it. A Van Boshe takes out Daniel Serafian inside of a round. Serafian immediately back to his feet, wondering what happened. Olawale Bamboche happened. The move of the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast 4G LTE T-Mobile network for $30 period. I'll tell you what, you know, he, he showed him some flim flams, waves the hands in the air, and then out of nowhere comes a big head kick. Check this out, I mean, just beautiful explosion, some real awkward hand movement, and bam! Despite the defense of Serafian being there, still lands the big head kick. Shows off just how powerful this young athlete is. Gorgeous technique, really distracted him with those hands. Some awkward movements that you don't typically see. And it pays off. Bamboche has never seen a second round in seven MMA fights. And there is the corner reaction after the biggest win of his career. Will that hold up as the best move of the night? Quite possibly. Tweet and let us know. The hashtag is Metro Move. And tune into Fox Sports Live immediately following the main event for the winning move. We will talk to all the Wale Van Boshe and get the official decision after this as we continue live from Pittsburgh, PA. Stay with us. From the NBA, NHL, and college hoops, Fox Sports Live tonight. After our main event right here on FS1 and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee James Chappell's called a stop to this contest at one minute of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Aluwali, the Holy War Angel. 